Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you the new advanced region node execution graph functionality that is coming with the new Creature update. And this allows you to do something like what we're seeing on screen right now, which is advanced face animations. So you can do face facial expressions that basically have, say, an eye mesh. In this case, the eye is a separate mesh that is deforming with the parent face mesh. So you see how the eyes actually move and actually deform. It's not just a tra simple translation. They actually move with the parent face mesh and they also have their own animation. So they blink themselves. So this feature, this feature actually allows you to do very advanced facial expressions and other kinds of things that you need deformations with. So you need a hierarchical deformation structure where you have children that deform, that, you know, that, that, care, that, that are that inherit the deformations from their parents, but also have their own deformations as well. Now, this feature is specifically tailored for the keyframe animation artists out there. So it works with grid and poly mesh motors. So let's get started. Okay, so let's look at how this project is set up. It's actually very simple. It's a very standard creature project. We have the hair mesh, the face mesh, the hand, and the, the eyes. Okay, that's really all it is. And if you go into the rig, you can see again it's pretty standard I uh, just have you know very simple bones but then again the bones are not actually the key to this this project or this tutorial you'll see in a moment why we really focus on the meshes right now so I have if I can filter these out let me so here's the face the eyes right the hair and the hand which isn't really part of the tutorial but anyway so I have all these different parts separated out as layers, as regions, sorry, region meshes. And let's go into animate mode. Okay, so this is the default clip. Now you'll see in a moment it looks strange, but you understand why. If I play the animation, you can see, right, the face moves separately from the eyes. Now this is just a very simple animation test, but it shows you that's not what we want, right? So you want the hair and you also want the eyes to move along with the face deformation. And it's not, when I say move along, I don't just mean a simple translation again. I mean, they actually deforms smoothly across the entire parent face mesh to give you a real deformation effect. That's the, that's the, the sophisticated part of this, this, this functionality. But before we continue, let's see what we have, right? So again, this functionality works for deformed grid motors and poly mesh grid motors, motors is specifically designed for this sort of front-facing keyframe animation in mind, but you can use it for many other things as well. So let's take a look at what the face does. This is a standard mesh grid motor setup, and I just have several keys, right? I just have several keys that do a very simple fake pseudo head turning effect. Okay, so I have that, and then for the eyes, let's see what we get here. So let me shrink these down. Okay, so a key here and then just two keys one for just just for blinking just to deform the eyes for blinking okay and I have nothing on the hair it's just a simple deformed grid mesh motor so how do we how do we set this up right right now they're moving separately what do we do about this well we click on animate and then go to motor swaps effects and then you'll see this thing called region node execution graph so open this up now by default it's empty, nothing's in there, right? So we start adding in the mesh region. So if I click on face, I click on the plus sign, I add a region, I drag it out there. I add the eyes and I add the hair, right? Okay, so what do we do? What, what, what do you wanna, what, what do we wanna happen now? Okay, so we want the face to drive the eyes, we want the face to drive the hair, right? So the way to do it, it's very simple. You click on the children, you drag it and assign it to the parent of the eyes. Click on children, assign it to the parent of the hair. So this basically sets up the execution graph that says that I'm going to pose, the animation is going to pose the, the face first, your, your mesh grid motors, and then it's going to drive, the deformation is going to get carried over to the eyes and the hair, and then they're going to do their own stuff. Now take note, when you do this, effectively you have disabled the bone mesh posing for the children. It doesn't affect the parent. The parent will still be affected by the bones, but the children, the children, will no longer be affected by any sort of bone skinning, all right? So you're effectively saying, I want this to be d completely carried by the parent, okay? So this is a choice you have to make, but in this, in most cases, this is actually what you want. And then you just check the enabled flag to enable 
the the uh, region node execution graph to you know to make it execute to run. You close it, and let's see what we get. Right. So as you can see, let me zoom in so you can see, take a closer look. You can see now, in fact, we have the eyes. The eyes are actually right. As I, as I scrub through the frames, look at how the eyes are carried. They, they have their own. They have, they have their own deformations, but they also follow. They follow the parent, and so so does the hair mesh as well. It's a very powerful feature, really sophisticated effect. So you can use this for many many facial expression type animations. You can have separate keyframed animations for the eyes and other other parts of the face, and then you attach it to a to a parent face mesh and they all be carried carried along for the ride. It's super powerful. Now what's even more powerful is if you go to the test case, this is exactly a a prime example of how of how this feature is supposed to be used. What I do is after I've done that, I go into the animation controllers and if you don't know what they are, they're a very powerful way to actually create this 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 posing this posing posing node or option that allows you to basically have either a shape or uh, you know uh, a line and you can capture different poses from your character and the poses actually are multi parameters so it can be any kind of parameter physics um, poses points etc right but essentially what you do is I've actually captured if I look at the the face and eyes have captured a series of poses. So one with the you know the face turning left, one with the face turning down, and one with the face turning up, etc. And eyes as well. I actually captured the blinking poses. And so what I've done now is I've actually animated. I've actually animated the character based off the animation controller. So I actually have a set of controls for the face and a set of controls for the eyes as well, right? And so you can see how I've added the keyframes for blinking into my animation. Very simple. So this allows you to actually have the full power of actually animating a very complex face expression based off your custom created controllers that again the meshes are driven by the new fancy the new fancy region mesh node execution graph feature. So you can actually have now you can actually animate for real the facial expressions of a character very very easily. First by keyframing your various poses in your deformed grid motors or your poly mesh motors, then you capture them into your animation controllers. And then finally, you go back and you construct the animation, the re region node execution graph to make sure that your children meshes carry their def that are, are, are influenced, their deformations are influenced by the parents. So they go along for the ride, right? So this whole combination allows you to basically do something like this. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can do a lot more with it. You can think of the possibilities. right? You can have a very complex hierarchy where you have different mesh nodes that are influenced by their parents and they all execute their own custom fancy deformation animation keyframes. right? So this, this should open up a whole world of possibilities for you to animate any kind of front-facing character for a visual novel, etc., or even something else. Anything that you require a child mesh deformation to be influenced by its parent can use this new region node execution graph feature. So anyway, so that's basically what this tutorial is. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make good use of this feature and thanks for watching.